Uh, welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for taking some time, especially after lunch. I know it can get a little bit hard. Uh, my name is Mauro Morales. I come from Guatemala. I am a software developer. I am working at Spectro Cloud, and I am part of the Kairos core team. And today I want to talk to you. I brought this uh, presentation called Ford Kairos, a new dawn for secure Linux in untrusted environments, which basically is just a little story about the uh, implementation of trusted boot in Kairos. But first, let me tell you, like, we are very happy about how we run our Linux and Kubernetes workloads at the data center, right? And we want to bring that experience uh, to the edge. Why do we want to bring it to the edge? Basically, because we're closer to the customer, because um, we're closer to the data. There are many reasons why we want to do this kind of change. Kairos successfully is now running, for example, on um, grocery stores, on um, dental offices, and uh, even on farms, which I find really cool uh, to be able to share. But of course, uh, there are many challenges when you start running a Kairos machine on those kind of environments. And I'm not gonna talk about all of that because that would take a lot longer than a lightning talk. Uh, there are even many security challenges and that I will not have time to talk about. I will just focus on one thing, on the booting mechanism, which if you, you can already think about it, right? Like if you have the device accessible physically by other people, it means that uh, a malicious actor can easily put something in your machine that either is changing the current operating system that you have or is putting a completely different operating system that they want to run, which in both, both cases uh, would be a security breach for your system. Now, uh, this is not a new problem. This is something that other operating systems have been trying to solve for a while now. Uh, Windows has something similar called Trusted Boot. Mac OS, I don't remember the name right now, but uh, it famously puts uh, similar to TPM chips to be able to uh, avoid these kind of problems. On the Linux side, unfortunately, we don't have one solution that comes out of the box working, at least not with any of the major uh, distributions. We have some solutions mainly implemented right now by some of the special purpose operating systems. And that's a very cool uh, thing to hear, at least in my opinion. Uh, and one of those solutions uh, has been architected and designed by Leonard Pottering on uh, I would recommend that you go and read this blog post of his called Brave New Trusted Boot, where he explains in more detail the issues uh, that I'm talking about regarding the um, security in the, in the booting mechanism and also how they are implementing them in System D by this way, making it accessible to most of the uh, big distributions nowadays. And um, this, Following that particular recipe, this is basically the uh, items that Kairos took from that recipe, implemented it on Kairos, and produced what we called uh, Kairos Trusted Boot. So we're going to talk about each of these um, in a minute. First of all, we have what we call unified system images. Uh, a unified system image is basically a unified kernel image. Sorry about that. Uh, the kernel image is basically a uh, package that contains everything necessary to do the booting, in this case, the kernel, the init RAMFS, and whatever uh, else might be necessary to boot your image. Uh, but the difference is that the unified system image, uh, different from traditional uh, systems, it doesn't boot first on a basic system in the init RAMFS and then pivots into the full-fledged uh, system, but instead does it uh, immediately boots on the full-fledged system. We do that because it will make measurements a lot easier. Otherwise, we would have another mechanism at the moment of booting to be able to do that um, measure, uh, validating the measurements again. I will talk about measurements in a bit. The second part of the recipe is secure boot. I'm not gonna uh, go deep into this one because it's already been quite uh, widely used uh, in the Linux world. And the only thing is that I'm going to say is that uh, all you have to do is with your own keys, you sign your own unified system images, and then uh, Secure Boot will make sure that only your images are the ones that can boot um, on your device. 
Then the next thing is TPN-based measurements. Think of this basically like uh, uh, an officer in an immigration post, right? Where he is going to take your passport. He's going to check that the person that uh, is there, you, is really the person that says in the passport, right? The passport is something that has been uh, produced by uh, an authenticated um, source, right? Like a country in this case. Well, we have kind of a similar situation uh, on when booting uh, a system and doing the TPM based measurements. We um, have the TPM chip, which acts in this case like the uh, officer. We have the measurements that were done by someone authorized, in this case you, using uh, your own keys. And we have the different, uh, as the person, we have the different uh, artifacts that are going to be checked. In the case of uh, Kairos, we check the kernel. So that means that no malicious actor can put a different kernel on the system and try to boot. The init RAMFS, so that means that even if someone were to just change a slightly different part of the kernel and uh, regenerate an init RAMFS, it's not going to be able to boot. Uh, the command line, so even the slightest change, like adding just one little letter, is not going to be possible, because if you do that, you break again the measurements. And the uh, OS release, which basically defines what kind of system is running uh, on your Linux device. And the last uh, item of the recipe is encryption. Kairos uh, Trusted Boot focuses on what we think is the most important, which is the user data where the intellectual property is going to be, the thing that you're most scared of losing, uh, of someone else uh, ha having a look into, right? And uh, this is why it is not necessary in our case to do a full disk encryption because uh, everything else that is part of the system is just publicly known already. There's nothing special there. It's just the same packages that you will find on any basic distribution. Uh, the way Kairos works is that uh, on runtime, the whole system will be configured using uh, Cloud Init, but the system that you can see, there is nothing special in it and there is no reason to encrypt those parts. And as you can see, with that, we basically um, are able to put all of this together and create a trusted boot and make our little uh, Kairos mascot happy. But of course, we want to take things a little bit further. Uh, and we're, with Kairos, we provide you with uh, enough tooling so that you can generate those unified system images because we know it can be a bit of a hassle to deal with those kind of uh, artifacts. And you can start from uh, Docker files, which is uh, quite a widely common way to uh, produce images and it's easy to uh, understand already. And the result can be either, for example, a booting ISO or uh, a bootable ISO, sorry, or a container image that you can use to upgrade, for example, or to do uh, network installs. And another uh, aspect that we uh, enjoy a lot of the system that we think our, our users also enjoy is um, easy upgrades and rollbacks. The way this works in Kairos is by doing A-B upgrades similar to what uh, a smartphone does, basically allowing you to always have a working system in a machine. If for some reason the upgrade was unwanted or broken, then you can easily uh, use your passive uh, system. And of course, if anything goes really, really bad, you also have a recovery um, image that you can go and do uh, more, uh, hacky uh, stuff to, to get your system uh, working back again, right? So uh, basically what I want to, wanted to share with you today is that Kairos is a very good solution in case you're interested in having secure uh, systems. Uh, basically systems that you can trust which operating system and only those operating systems running in your machines. It's also flexible, allows you to extend or configure the system to your liking. You don't have to lose uh, your existing knowledge. If you're using, uh, for example, Ubuntu, you can use Ubuntu. If you're uh, using Fedora, you can use Fedora. Uh, overall, Kairos tries to, to um, be kind of a framework that runs on different existing operating systems. And uh, it's uh, easy to make uh, day two operations, especially at the edge where you might not have the... Um, specialist to, to be able to do it. It's a matter of just choosing a boot option or something like this. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, the, this will take you to the documentation of the architecture of trusted boot of Kairos.
So thank you very much for your time. Uh, Kairos is a full open source project. It's part of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation Sandbox project. The main website is kairos.io. We have a community there. Uh, and uh, yes, if you have any questions, I will be around. Please just approach me. I also have some stickers if you would be interested in that. Thank you very much. <laughs>